which really doesn't consider the standard barrel release to be compliant with their must be able to release under zero tension. There's so much negative feelings over the barrel release, yet there's thousands if not tens of thousands of aerotoes completely around the world every year. And we've got this competition coming up in the UK, first one in six years. And to benefit from the BHPA in third party insurance, we must follow the technical manual. Tony, how are we doing? Hey. Tell me, when did you first start ever using barrel releases? Seven, eight years, something like that. You had any issues with it? Uh, long whatsoever. People are getting a little bit flustered with the definition of the technical manual, the relationship to the barrel release. And the majority of those people, and the majority of people that I know in the UK, the Aerato, Aerato with barrel releases. What do we need to do then? To go forward, we need to get to the bottom of this and demonstrate it to the uh, a technical officer of the BHPA, for him to say, it's in accord with the technical manual and releases under zero light pressure. That's what we need to do. Well, let's go flying then. Good morning. Uh, we're off to Cambridge to test the barrel release. Hi, I'm Ian Curra. I'm a senior technical officer with the BHPA and I'm here today at Sutton Meadows uh, in my role as an examiner. Please tell me what the BHPA, uh, the technical manual, says about the barrel release. Well, it doesn't mention barrel releases specifically. Well, it doesn't mention barrel releases specifically. So verbatim, I'm reading this from the technical manual now. The release must operate and release the line under conditions of zero line tension um, as if, for example, a speed oscillation has developed and the glider pilot can drop the um, line before the next surge. I'm here today to test that. I'm going to go up behind Charlie and I'm going to try and simulate no load so to see if the barrel release conforms to that regulation or not. If you come off the power and I'll speed, keep my speed up and see if I can reduce the tension in the line. All right, so to let you know I'm doing that, when I, when I get to 1500 feet, I'll, I'll signal get off the line but you don't have to do it because we know what's happening yeah yeah helmet check all secure uh, leg loops uh, in zips done up buckles done up yeah all out all out That was quite difficult to simulate. You could hear the increase in the airspeed and the wind with each surge. I was indicating Charlie to turn right so there'd be more slack on the line. And then when he finally did that, you could see that the line went all the way down, which I'll repeat in slow motion. And the, the, the line was probably 70 or 80 degrees. I kept the speed on so that uh, the, the slack was still in the line and the barrel released fine, no problems. So for my barrel release, the more modern ones, I'm, I'm happy that they release with no tension on the line. Well, that's me home.
Thanks for watching. If I don't get to a thousand subscribers in a couple of months, I will do more cat content. Deal? Deal. Subscribe please, otherwise playing Delta becomes playing cat and we don't want any more cat videos on the internet. No line tension there at all. Yeah, great. These are the modern barrel releases. These ones aren't. And the difference is that's quite thick, so there's friction on the barrel. Yeah. This one's smaller. Also, the barrel is squished in the middle, which allows it to move really freely. <laughs> Tony to demonstrate that, you just demonstrate Yeah, but it's more interesting, no, no. and I've done the video anyway, so...